It's another testing newness type of video. I know y'all have been enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. And yeah. First, I want to say, hey, what's good? It's your boy on eggs. Back with another video. Yup, another one. And if you are new here and you're into get ready with me, testing newness, the clutters, hauls, refreshing my everyday makeup drawer, um, all that type of content, and I sprinkle in some other little goodies in there, and definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depends on how you feel, and comment down below. Say, hey, what's good? <laughs> so we're gonna jump right into it, there you go. So Pure Lease had a $10 mystery bag situation, and this is what I got for $10. I don't know if it's still available, but I got these two products right here, which is products that I used in the past that I adore. So it's their Pineapple Bright Cleansing Gel, amazing cleanser for all skin types, and then their um, Bright Gel Cream uh, Moisturizer, which is amazing, smells like uh, pineapples, um, uh, it's for all kinds of skin, what is it, oily combination, normal, and even sensitive, so it's a lightweight, oil-free gel, cream, refreshes, and moisturizes, one thing about Pure Lease, their moisturizers are bomb, are bomb, it's, it's just moisturizing, it smells so good, feels good, I love being my beard. It just takes all the dryness away. You know what I mean? And it works well under makeup. Uh, from Too Faced, they're like lip balms, liquid lip balms. They were like half off. Um, it's in banana, banana kiss. Uh, it smells so good. So it's like a thicker lip balm, like liquid lip balm. So I don't have to use a lot, you know? First I got pineapple, now I got banana, like, ooh. So, ooh, it feels nice and hydrating. Does feel thicker. Yeah. Definitely check it out when you can get it in a, you know, a good sale, at least. Quick eye cream. I've been using this from Glow Recipe. It's almost done. It's a thicker eye cream. It, it feels a little cooling. Yeah, it has vitamin C in it. It's a guava vitamin C bright eye gel cream. Glow Recipe has this other eye cream that I really enjoyed. It comes in like a pot. Yeah, I think that one, I like that one better, but this one's okay. I'm still playing with it, you know? Tower 28 sent me a little package. So we're gonna use a couple of products from in here. We're gonna use this, which is the SPF Tinted Sunscreen SPF 30. And that's in the shade 35 point doom. We're gonna use their Bronzino Illuminating Bronzer in West Coast. We'll try to play with that, and yeah. So these are some other things they sent over to. Um, Power Hour, Shade of the Beach Please, Luminous, Tinted Balm. Of course, their uh, lip, lip glosses. <clears throat> their lip glosses, they're all opening up. Shine On uh, Lip Gloss. Milky Lip Jelly, this one's almond, and then the other one is a lip jelly. Just a regular lip jelly, I guess, in Magic. Magic. And then a multi-liner, one-liner multi-liner. I don't know what shade this is. Oh, Draw Me. You could put this all over your face, anywhere. Lips, you know, waterline, eyeliner eyeshadow whatever you want to do with it you can use it so yeah big shout out to you know 
Power 28 for sending this stuff over my way. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to play with more of it, you know? But well, we are going to go in with this right here, which is their SPF. Sunny Days. Uh, SPF 30 tinted sunscreen. Like I said, uh, 35 point doom. Doom. Yeah. I thought it was a foundation, but it's not. It's a tinted moisture. It's a t not even a tinted moisturizer. I thought it was a tinted moisturizer. It is a tinted SPF. So sunscreen. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm gonna use my complexion diamond from Moda. All right, let's see. All over the face. That draw it on basically. And then blend it out. This kind of is like a sponge. I love it. It's so good. See that? You can press it right into the skin. All right, so it's giving dewy. Light coverage. Yeah, it's giving a little coverage. I'm not mad at it love this um brush i've always used the other one the wedge but this one is the diamond look at that look at that it's like a match made in heaven you can brush it you know you can brush it a little bit if you wanted to or you can sponge it like you know So it's very liquidy. I want to put a little bit on my neck, my ears. And a little bit more in the, in the T-zone. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day. And I will definitely put a comment down below to let y'all know what I think about it. Because I'm about to go to work in a little bit. But, yeah, it gives a little coverage. A light coverage. Very dewy looking. Um, I might throw a little powder on. If you have an SPF powder, it would be amazing. Let's try this bronzer. So it's in the shade West Coast. It's their Bronzino. I have their Scopino, too. Um... Oh, okay. It's interesting. I've always loved their packaging, though. Tower 28 has some really cool packaging. That's the shade. Um, right there. I don't know. We'll see what it gives. This is the A58 brush from uh, Morphe. So I went to, um, what is that called? Uh, Massage Envy. My first time going there because I used to go to, uh, what is it called? <sighs> Hand and Stone. I had a membership for almost like two years through the pandemic. Like when the pandemic was like huge. Oh, it's given a little bit. And then I just fell off. Yeah, I stopped going. You know, one of the guys that was, um, what was it called? One of masseuse, really good guy. He had gotten charged for uh, sexually assaulting and uh, a couple of different charges. A couple of women came up and said that he allegedly touched them and stuff like that and to be honest with you I was like waiting for him to touch me let me stop that's so bad that's so bad let's put some on the nose the women that came forward 
kept going back to him. If he's touching you, like, why are you going back to him? Like, if he's treating you some type of way, why are you not going back to him? Right? I'm not saying that he didn't do what they're saying that he did. I'm just saying, um, why would you keep going back to the person? This is better than I thought. This Bonzino, um, it is luminous. It's giving me a little bit of something, and I like that. You know what I mean? I do like it. Big shout out to Tower 28. You know what I mean? I'm liking these two products so far. So the blush and highlighter is from Makeup Forever. These are the artist blushes. Makeup Forever is a brand that used, it, it was used by like a lot of artists, uh, makeup artists for like sets and, you know, movies and all kinds of stuff. So that's why a lot of Makeup Forever's products are like, um, like makeup artist friendly. That was like the focus, you know, but anyway, we're gonna go in with this blush. These are the little compacts, but you can obviously take them out of here and throw them into like a Z palette or something like that. I think Makeup Forever sells that big thing that can put all kinds of powders and all kinds of products in it. It's like their version of a Z palette. Cause all you have to do is lift this up right here and you can open it up and take it out. But anyway, this is the blush. This is the Wherever Rose shade. So soft. has a little bit of like a natural finish to it. I wouldn't say matte. Yeah. Like a satin finish it looks. So I have a JS20 brush. It's like the perfect, look at this, look at it. It's angled. Ever since I started letting my beard grow even bit, you know, longer, they're everywhere. Ooh, nice little everyday type of look. You know, I like it to be in your face. <laughs> I've definitely outgrown a lot of my JS and Morphe collab brushes. Oh my God, talk about Morphe, because, you know, Jacqueline is the queen of Morphe. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, I don't know what's her new last name. It's not Roxanne. Um, Jacqueline is closing down two of her three businesses. But you know what I heard? That Jacqueline Cosmetics is not even hers. She's not even the CEO of it. At least at least um, Ariana Grande bought REM Beauty from, you know, Morphe. Not Morphe, that brand that owns Forma. Like, Forma owns Jaclyn Cosmetics. That's crazy. She needs to buy that shit from them. Like, buy it. Girl, buy it. It's a great brand. Like, they have some great products. I haven't tried anything that's a dud. Have I? No. No, I haven't. Okay, there we go. And I could go over it with some powder. Which I think I'm gonna do ahora. Just gonna use a little bit of my Ofra oil control powder. This and the Domini Cosmetics pow uh, powder are the two powders that I have been using the most. And they're like my recent powders, loose powders, you know? Okay, so I'm just taking a fluffy brush. This one is the Radiance brush from Moda. I'm just going into the powder. You know, dabbing it around. I'm gonna be sweating today, I already know it. I love the angle of this brush because you could get into a lot of the, see that right into that area right there. It's a perfect brush. Perfect brush. People are like, why do I love motor brushes so much? Um, first of all, they're affordable. 
and I just love their brushes. I'm obsessed with their Pro line now. I have them in white. Uh, I have the brushes in white now. I have them in black. This powder is great for uh, oil control. Um, well, it's an oil control setting powder, so. <laughs> It's just great to set your face with, if you're like oily, even me, combination skin, I've been using that oil control powder. Not that one, that one, but they have the press powder, using it for years. So when they came out with this one, I was like, okay, okay, I'm familiar with you. I want to spray a little bit of a setting spray. Well, like a, this is the hydrating one from Cab Cosmetics. Now I'm gonna go in with this one, which is their highlighter. It's the artist highlighter. The shade is wherever pearl. Now out of the highlighters for this release, a lot of them I didn't care for. They're very chunky, they're very glittery. But this one, if I could open it up. <laughs> it just looks like, it's like, Fairy dust. See, it's like, oh, it's so beautiful. It's just like iridescent, like an iridescent sparkle. Like, it's so pretty. So we're gonna throw this all over. So I have my Moda Glow Brush. Um, see. It's really nice. There's the white, there's the pro line. You see that? Oh, it's so pretty. It's like. Tinker Tinkerbell's piss. <laughs> I'm leaving that sucker. Okay, I got my favorite little brush for detailing highlighter detail. Uh the Jacqueline, what is this? The Morphe and Jacqueline JH39 brush. I can never remember a brush name. But this highlighter is just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, that sucks. This is not a lip balm that works well if you run your mouth a lot. Okay, that. Build it up a little bit. In a corner. It just has a sheen. This highlighter has a sheen to it. A really nice sheen. That's that's what I wanted to say. It's like a, a sheen, a, a um a iridescent sheen. I don't have any highlighter like that. Like it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'm really here for this. If you have medium skin, medium to tan skin, this will look... <gasps> okay, it's safe. It's safe. I am here for these two, though. They're beautiful. The blush and the uh, highlighter, they're stunning. Look at that. Mm. Yep, it's my kind of situation, you know? All right, so I have this Huda Beauty Mascara, the One Coat Wow, extra volumizing and lifting mascara, and very Fanta. Let's see, like, I don't never do no one coat. I mean, if I want something quick, yeah. Oh, this is chunky. And pink, I didn't even think it was like this. I don't know why, what I was expecting, but. All right, should I? Curl my lashes. Yeah, let's curl them. You know, just a little bit. Just a little bit. They don't keep a curl. 
For some reason, something's wrong with my lashes, like my hair on my lashes, that it just does. All right, here's the brush, like a rubber brush, unique brush. And let's go in. Oh. It looks good. So far, separating the hell out of my lashes. Uh, this is something. I mean, you can see in, in person, you can see it. This is definitely the type of mascara that you're probably only going to have to go in one time. Like, you can't... If you go in with another coat, it's not going to work well. It's going to clump and do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can see it. It's just I go in with, like, two or three coats, you know? I'm hashtag natural lashes, so... I got to do what I need to do to make my lashes look good. Um, it is like a thicker formula. It looks good. It looks good. Look at that. So yeah, one coat. Can I throw another coat on there? Yeah, it doesn't work well when you try to throw a second coat on. I was trying to... One coat. One coat. That's it. One coat. <laughs> one coat. I have this new product from NYX, but I need to look at it. So, like, I really have to watch a video or something. Um, it's their new brow... Zero to brow gel. Zero to brow gel. But, no, I'm just going to go in with some clear brow gel. All right. I threw some clear brow gel into the brows. This is the Joa Brow Down To Me. Uh, just a nice, quick brow product. Um, I think I spoke about it in my favorites. Just easy, clear brow gel that holds your brows really well. Uh, works well with other products. And yeah, it's just a good one. The last product I'm going in with is from Tarte. I picked up one of their uh, Maracuja Juicy Shifts. It's the Lip Plump Shift in Blueberry. I'm obsessed with it. So it just looks like that. It just goes on clear. Well, it does, you'll see. It has this little like purple tint to it, but it looks so good. It just adds a little bit of a berryness to my lip. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have anything like, see, can't really see, but it works well on my lips. I really like it. It's thinner than their other Maracuja Juicy Lips. So yeah, this is what it is. This is how it is right now. Quick spritz. All right, and I'm ready to go to work. What do y'all think of my quick, you know, work look <laughs> to go to work? <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed these products. Um, of course, the blushes are my faves right now. I am obsessed with them. Make up forever. Y'all did the damn thing. So yeah, definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below. Let's chat about all this stuff. What did you pick up that's new? Maybe let me know something that I should try. How about that one? How about that one? So yeah, I'm out. Deuces. I gots to go. <laughs>